This is the Jack Wolf Knives Pioneer Jack. The new for September 2023 Jack Wolf Knives release. It is inspired by the classic American Farmer Jack or Sodbuster or Bullnose. Uh, it goes by a bunch of different names, but basically it's a straight back uh, working blade on a stout handle. Um, and I'll show you some other ones in a few minutes here, but uh, this is a really cool, um, uh, same but different kind of departure for Ben Belkin and Jack Wolf Knives. And I say it's a departure, it's not really a departure, it's doing what they all do, which is uh, uh, break new ground. And in this one, uh, breaking new ground for the Jack Wolf Knives lineup, uh, this is the first one to feature Altum. The last series was uh, the first to feature all titanium handles and also Kiranite and PVD coating. Uh, this run of knives has some of that PVD, some of that black coating, uh, some full titanium, some jig titanium, and this gorgeous Ultim. Uh, I know that Ultim is somewhat um, polarizing. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's a color thing. Uh, to me, I love it. It just reminds me of, um, I, I love that sort of golden field color and the gray sky color next to each other. It reminds me of Ohio when driving back to Ohio. So uh, I definitely like the Ultim. I can see how uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea, frankly, on everything I see it on. Uh, but I really like it on this because the frame underneath isn't pocketed out for weight uh, reduction or anything like that. So you're not getting any unsightly patterns in the steel underneath. I mean, un in the titanium underneath. And that's a taste thing. But, um, yeah. Okay, so what does this knife feature also that's a little bit different? Well, it features a very stout tip. Look at the tip on this. Very different from, say, your, um, one of the knives that I've had people asking for a size comparison. Here's the big bro jack. Look at the difference in the tips there. Yeah. So the new one, the Pioneer Jack, is much more robust at the tip. Uh, and so it maintains a lot of that of that thickness right till there. And you can feel you can feel how hollow and thin. So they all have the hollow grinds. This one is the least I got to say the least deep, you know, it feels like the most like a flat grind, even though you can tell it's not, but you can feel it thicken up right forward of the nail neck and uh, it maintains that super, super thick, capable tip. Uh, it's very sharp though. Don't, don't get me wrong. Just because it tapers, uh, tapers out a little bit and thickens up doesn't mean it, it's not wickedly sharp up there. Uh, so let's see um, what it comes with. Let me put this one aside. Okay, so it comes in the in the usual box here, Jack Wolf Knives box, box, and then you've come to love and look forward to the artwork, Pioneer Jack. This is a new artist, uh, but his work, I gotta say, fits seamlessly with the brand. I wouldn't necessarily have known. That was a new artist. Really nice stuff either way. I like the aluminum cans here. And then your pog falls out. Your pog is sitting up here. And if you know, you know. I don't know. I know it's a thing. Uh, but that's a little bit after my time. So pogs weren't a thing for my generation so much. Jack Wolf Knives. Really nice pink uh cloth that it came wrapped up in. I'm not going to unfurl it. And then two of the stickers in there. Let's see the stickers. They're always hard to get out. They look just like the pog. And then this comes in there too. Uh, I really like these, um, the Jack Wolf knives supplied slips. They are very, very nice. The stick thick stout leather. Uh, really, really nice. But if you like something a little different, you can always go to the Jack Wolf Knives website and order yourself a, um, a different leather case, uh, different colors, 
uh, more supple leather, cool stitching, the whole nine yards. All right, so here we go. Um, this is S90V. I love the swedge up on top there. Um, I guess it lightens the blade up just a little bit. Also makes it, uh, gives it a beautiful look. Huge sharpening choil, so you have lots and lots of life. Uh, you can sharp up, uh, you can sharp north and still get a lot of cutting life because it's still nice and thin behind that edge. I mean, don't, don't think just because I'm talking about this as a thicker, uh, thicker geometry than the other Jackwolf knives, it's still like thinner than most everything else back here and nice and hollow. So the um, nail nick is a necessary uh, feature in this one for me personally. Um, it has a nice stout pull, I'd call it a eight, I guess. Um, now, usually you have a full height hollow grind that terminates at the very spine without a swedge. And that offers you two great spots at the top of that grind to grab and get really great purchase on the top of the blade. Here, that those two little uh, sharp edges have been removed with that swedge, so it's harder to pinch. You can, uh, but it's harder for me to get in there. And I don't have big sausage fingers. I think that would be next to impossible with someone with giant fingers. So, well, you got a nail neck. Use the nail neck. Works great in this case. Such awesome walk and talk. I can't stop opening and closing it. Um, you get that really nice uh, full Barlow bolster that comes down about one third of the length of the handle with the triple fluting there. And, um, and then, like I said, the Ultim. Perfectly hafted, everything looks really great. So you have a nice uh, flat engagement there between the blade and the spring. And then at the half stop, totally flat. That's a hallmark of quality and fit and finish that a lot of uh, knife guys look for if your knife is going to have a backstop. Um, obviously not necessary to have a great knife to have that happen, but it just goes to show that the maker went the extra mile to get a perfect fit. All right, so let's compare this, a uh, very stout work knife here to um, the Big Bro. Um, now my faith in these Jack Wolf knives as um, stout work knives really was hammered home uh, recently. So I've been, uh, there it is with the, with the Benny's clip. So all, all three pretty big. Um, but when I was going through, I've been rehabbing the room I'm in right now. And I used this, the Havelina Jack to cut a whole bunch of cardboard boxes and just slice them up into, uh, a little bit of cardboard in the nail neck just to cut them up, to get rid of them. And this thing was awesome. And it did not gain any play or any sort of looseness. Um, I was horsing it through some pretty thick uh, cardboard, did it a lot in this reverse grip, and I found that that sow belly uh, shape uh, gave the right angle of that blade, which is already at a pretty nice angle, just to pull it through cardboard. Um, and this thing did great. So I feel like this, um, I don't wanna tap it with the knife. The Pioneer Jack would just be even even more stout because it just has that feeling uh though this is you know this tip is actually a pretty stout one for a jack wolf tip also all right so this is being released on uh friday the 22nd of september 2023 so as i release this um i guess tomorrow <laughs> So be sure to keep your eyes peeled on all of the many uh, purveyors who now sell this knife, uh, who sell Jack Wolf knives. And now that uh, he's, uh, Jack Wolf knives has seen some success and they've been able to up production. Now they're not uh, always sold out everywhere, which is a nice, nice perk. If you like the knife, you can buy the knife uh, in five different flavors, I believe. Let me show it off with a couple of my favorite sod busters. Here's the uh, case sod buster. This is from one of the Working Man series, I believe, some years back. Big one. 
And then here is its corresponding uh, Great Eastern Cutlery uh, big, bull, uh, this was called the Bull Buster. And it is the number 21. It's a big one. Uh, but the more normal size is more like this here. The uh, This used to be my muffin knife. It used to be in my car to cut muffins. Yep. Yep. Well, uh, if you saw any of the old videos, you know what that's all about. Okay, so this is... Ah! Ooh! Look at that. Just from opening. Okay, so that is the Bullnose, the famous 72 from Great Eastern Cutlery. So it's about the same size. And then here is my beloved case um cv junior sod buster sort of a a uh um i don't know what you want to say it you know it's sort of blocky and unrefined it's got a great really super sharp cv steel blade that patinaed nicely uh oftentimes it just rides in one of the little pockets of my backpack but i just i love the sod buster design because it's so simple and to the point and but also there's a cer certain beauty to it and i think ben sort of harnessed it here especially in this beautiful straight back blade with an ever so slight downward uh straight to that belly and then the angled off version of what is a very common uh shape you know i like i like that instead of going with that round shape he faceted that shape um not that you're ever going to use it like that, but it actually feels good like that. Uh, the Ultim, I, I like it, and I'm glad I got it in this. Um, I don't know. It's cool. I, like I said, for this knife in particular, because of how the liners are, I think it looks great. Um, but I have... This has not gotten me rabid about going out and seeking every Ultim option I can find, that's for sure. Uh, but I think it just so happens to go nicely on this. And I love the color contrast. Uh, in hand, how does it feel? It feels like Kiranite. It feels like other acrylics. Uh, though this is not acrylic. This is... Um, uh, what? It, well, this is a super, super high tensile plastic that can take a lot of abuse and a lot of excess heat, too, which is nice. So uh, a good, really good material for a really good hard work and knife. All right, this is the Jack Wolf Knives Pioneer Jack uh, dropping on September 22nd, Friday. You know, we love Fridays. Uh, so Friday, the 22nd of September, 2023. Check it out. Thank you, Ben, for sending me this awesome, awesome knife. All right, take care.